Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T33 GML. Now, really the only unique feature about this model of the Needler is the huge handguard right in between the cowlings. That's really about it. Uh, everything else about the Needler, I go really in depth back in my Halo Reach weapon analysis. This T33 GML holds 20 rounds in the chassis, plus 80 extra spare needles. The fire rate I got was around 590 rounds per minute. Reload speed was around 2.09 seconds. Max effective range is around 38 meters. As for damage output, it takes 7 needles to break shields and 2 needles to health for a 9 shot kill. However, 7 needles is what needed for a super combine, and uh, not even one super combine is enough to kill a full shielded Spartan. And the TTK of this gun, I got around 2.15 seconds. And the last thing I want to mention about this gun is that the super combined blast radius is around 3.6 meters and is able to take out all your shields. And uh, that's pretty much it on the CE Needler. Uh, Basically, never pick this shit up in multiplayer. Uh, I normally don't like to call anything, any weapon useless in Halo, but the CE Needler is useless. Never pick it up in multiplayer. You can go ahead and pick it up in campaign. It's got a few niches there. Also, all the stats that I went through is actually not the original performance of the Needler, as the Needler used in multiplayer is actually from the Gearbox port from Halo CE. You know, the, the, the PC port. The Needler is actually buffed in the original PC port from Gearbox. Even with the buffs that it got, it still isn't enough, and this gun is still useless. Alright, that's been my analysis on the CE Needler. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe for more, leave a comment below on what you think about this gun, share the video around, and until next time, peace.